So you simply go to turn it in and go to this page, the login page. After that, you will need uh, your email address and password to get access. So here you need already an account to create an account if you don't have it. Uh, after having the account, you can simply log in and then you will come up with uh, this page. You go to uh, this view of the instructor and student in case you have instructor account you could just toggle to the instructor account in case you have the student account you could go to the student account here in the instructor account you will have the quick submit button here you could check it and then so you go to the quick submit and then you ask you to search the internet search student papers if you want search periodicals and then here submit papers and here you need to choose no repository so that it will not save your work in institution paper repository or standard paper repository so choose no, rep no repository select and here you could add name let's say t and then here you could choose from this computer and select the paper from your desktop for example open it and then upload it after uploading it, it will tell you the word count, the page count, the character count, the file size, the file name, etc. So you can just confirm. So congratulations, your submission is complete. This is your digital receipt. You can print a copy of the receipt from within the document viewer. So go to assignment inbox and you find similarity percentage. You click here. It will take you to the feedback studio. Here you could see the similarity, the score of the similarity. And here you could see so this is 72% uh, percent detected as AI. It occurs at the beginning and towards the end of the paper. So you could also uh, download this AI report and also download the list here and download the similarity report like this. So now I managed to download the uh, AI report as well as the similarity report. Uh, in case you have a student account, you will need to have class ID. So I will show you one example here. This is a class name, enrollment K. And you need just to uh, go back to uh, your student account. So here you need to toggle to students and then join enroll in a class. So here you should just put the class and section ID and enrollment key and you submit and you will be enrolled in a class. However, if you get enrolled in class, your work will stay in repository and you won't be able to retrieve it. So it will go to the other person and you won't be able to uh, get it back. Also, it will be stored in a database. This will show up again in the future if case, case someone checks it. So this is not a, a safe approach to, to do. Uh, this is in brief how you can uh, Check AI and similarity using Turnitin. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you soon and bye for now.